several weeks ago, I spotted some moisture on the bottom of a hot tub, and then I looked and found there's a leak. The leak is coming from the wet side of the pump, and a bleeder valve plug is the blame. So I put some pumps in the hot tub, and I started to drain the water, which took forever. These pumps are great, but they're just not the quickest in the world. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes to get a 400 gallons out of my hot tub. Once the hot tub was finished draining, I pulled the pumps out and set them aside. Always be sure to open the bottom drain. This is the low point drain of the hot tub to get all the excess water out of the lines. Once I remove the cap, there's a valve that you have to open to get the water to come out and drain. Next, I had to remove the clamp that was holding the hose to the bleeder. Taking my adjustable wrench, I carefully unscrewed the bleeder. It's important not to torque it too much because you don't want to break the bleeder. And then you have to take the whole pump apart to get, get it out. And there she is, the reason why my hot tub was leaking and why I had to empty it and burn up an entire Sunday. Looking at this bleeder, it really doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but there's hairline cracks in it that you can't see in the camera, especially right around here. That's where the water was spraying out the side and dripping. Here's my replacement part. I'll put the link down in the description as to where I bought it. There's nothing saying that you have to use nylon tape because it does have an O-ring, but I put a little on here just to be on the safe side. I do mine up thin so it gets inside the threads. Back at the hot tub, time to put everything back together. Be sure not to over tighten the bleeder because you don't want to break it and have to repair it all over again. It's here where I found this spring clamp was just not enough to hold on this quarter inch hose. If you can pull it off like you can see I'm doing here, it's time to uh, up the ante a bit. So I got myself a couple of uh, replacement parts. Got some clamps, I got a couple of barb, and I start putting everything back together. And uh, the reason why I went with the brass is because uh, you can really tighten this stuff down and you're not gonna you know, risk breaking plastic or anything else like that. Besides, it will last longer than plastic will anyway. Got myself some quarter inch tubing and I got it clear because I wanted to see that I do indeed have uh, water flow going through. Why they have these tubes on here that you can't see what's going on inside, I, I just don't know. Once I got everything test fitted the way I like it, I cut off the excess clear tubing and I start putting everything back together. The existing tubing that you see, the yellow tube there that, that was there originally, it's keep in mind too, it's cold outside and it's very tough. The, the hose is not as pliable as the clear tubing that I'm installing because it's new and it's fresh and all that good stuff. Uh, the tubing there is, um, you know, just it's not brittle, it's not breaking, it's not cracking or anything. It's just really tough because it's really cold outside right now.
And there you have it. Everything is put back together nice and tight, nice and snug. I cannot pull it off. So now it's time to close everything back up, starting with my low point drain. I'm going to close the valve and then put the cap on. With the assistance of my two ferocious attack dogs, I'll get my vacuum cleaner out and I'm going to clean out the tub while I have everything out. As you can see right here, I have a 2-inch PVC pipe that I molded to uh, fit my vacuum cleaner hose. And this allows me to vacuum without having to climb into my hot tub, which is really nice at my age. So I just plug everything right back up here like this. Get everything nice and snug. Scare my dogs a minute there. And then uh, proceed to start vacuuming out all the water. Also take this opportunity to remove the filter and vacuum very well down in the filter well. Always remember to remove the water from your vacuum cleaner. One good inspection before we start putting water in it. Now's a good time to get a vacuum cleaner and just kind of neaten up that area real quick. Now it's time to uh, scrub using some Spagard filter cleaner and my little happy face scrubber. This is going to remove the uh, waterline scum that just builds up over time. Whether you use it or not, it's just, it is what it is. It's the impurities in the water that just seem to congregate uh, along the uh, waterline there and it's just always fun. But uh, I don't scrub too, too hard. I mean, my tub's, you know, aged a little bit, so it's, it's, it has a little bit of discoloration just from being old older it's a 2014 tub but anyway just give it a good spray and a good scrub all the way around and uh, gets it all nice and clean
once I'm all done scrubbing, I'm going to wipe down the entire tub to get rid of all of the uh, cleaner with a damp rag. I'm going to take out my old filter. This is the one that's been in the tub for the last several months. You can see the difference with a, another filter that I have. This one has been cleaned through my dishwasher. Nice and sparkly brand new. Ready to go back in for service. I'm going to remove my salt cell. I'm going to get my filtry water filter and it's going to help take out the impurities in my garden hose water. When you start putting water back in your tub, you want to make sure you always put it back in the filter well. You'll notice that it's going through the pipes when you see it come out the sides like, like you do here. It takes about four hours to fill up my hot tub, so now it's an awesome time for an adult beverage. If we take a look below, we see that my tube is not leaking. You can see the water is getting in there by the clear tube there, and there are no drips, no leaks. So far, so good. My hot tub is just about filled got the pumps running, I've burped it already, got the air out of the lines. It's still going to warm, it's going to need overnight to get up to temperature. You're going to need about 100 degrees to uh, put salt back in this bad boy. As you can see my tub is going full blast, all the pumps are working and we don't have any leaks so this looks like a success story. That's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.